do y'all kind of get along with y'all's spouses that way? Do you like the same type of music, or is that just black and white? No, so so my little lady, Jasmine Adams, loves Morgan Wallen. I am not a Morgan Wallen fan, <laughs> and and we butt heads constantly. What? What? And and the reason is is because Cover Me Up, written by Jason Isbell yeah. to his wife Amanda. This guy covers it. And he gets I didn't know that. all the yes. popularity. Everybody's mm-hmm. like, oh, have you heard Morgan Wallen's new song, Cover Me Up? Mm. I'm like, yeah. excuse me? And I correct everyone. And yes. I know I'm that guy Absolutely. when I do that. Yeah, and, 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 nobody, and, everyone. and nobody cares, though, because right. like I, I'm that guy, too. Whenever uh, I don't listen to him as much as I used to, but Colt Ford, uh, back in the day, whenever he was first getting big, I listened to him. Right. And uh, he had that Dirt Road Anthem song. Mm-hmm. Yes. And Jason Aldean covered that. And it blew up. Right. And I was that guy too. I'm like, oh, Colt Ford done that first. Right. And just nobody cared. They're like, this this remix has Ludacris in it. Like, who's Colt Ford? <laughs> yeah. You know? right. yeah. Right. But yeah, so I mean, but for the most part, she's, she loves the pastime band. <laughs> yeah, that's all that matters. That's it. That's, that's all, all that matters. matters. She, she, she can have these little um, twer- uh, quirks, I guess you could say, with yeah. Morgan Wallen and, and the new bro country age. <sighs> but that's just something that, you know, I just, I can't. Yeah, I mean, like and you can it, only have so many songs about dirt roads and cold beers, and you would think and tailgates. You would you think, but them, them, them dudes, they they they'll, they'll ride another one. Yeah, <laughs> I know. right. I got a and, new truck and a new tailgate. Yeah. <laughs> but then you could have a song about side by sides. Yeah, yeah. yeah, right. yeah that, that's going to be the new thing right there. Is all the side by sides. Well, uh, yeah, them things see, like that. on our album coming out on May twenty. <laughs> you have a song about side by sides. Yeah. The, title, the the title track is called "In These Parts," and it was written by Mark as his an attempt of a country song. But you'll hear it. <laughs> it's it's yeah. the heaviest song on the album. It, it is. In but the fact. lyrics is this country song, and we turn yeah. it into something heavier. But it, you know, that's, but the lyrics is definitely about here. Right. Yeah, so know? it's yeah. it's about um, you know, giving hand, you know, hand ups instead of handouts. Yeah. You know, riding or side by side and coal mining. The song was written for this area right here. Cool man. But. It's probably the most rockish song that's on the album. Well, Title that, track. Yeah, he said that parts. was his best attempt at a country song. Well, <laughs> I brought it to the band, and then I went away for a weekend. I come back, and they said, check this out. Use <laughs> <laughs> like, your country song. Yeah, and it is amazing. I mean, do, do you like this version more than what you Way wrote? more, yeah. That's cool. I'm limited on my talent. <laughs> I, I bring it to these guys. They're the talent, you know, and, and they take the song. To a whole new level. Yeah, yeah, well, how were we talking about covers earlier? Every once in a while, like, you'll have somebody cover a song, mm-hmm. and every once in a while, it's like a one out of ten thing. It's actually sometimes better than the original. Yeah. The, the, the perfect mm-hmm. example of that is Hurt by Johnny Cash. You know, Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, that's the best example. Even Nine Inch Nails, like, they won't perform Hurt anymore. Like, they say, like, we gave it to Johnny. Like, that's his song. Right. He, yeah. he he done it justice. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes, he did. Yeah. In his old age, and he still yeah, covered he it and yeah. made awesome. it what it is. Oh, in the music video, too, where it's uh, <sighs> him and June, you know, and that, and that was just a few months before she passed away. Yeah. And, oh, man. And it's going through his life. That music... If, if that doesn't make you cry, or at least get a little bit emotional, you don't have a soul. Yeah, you can't put any right. more no. emotion into something than that. No. no. Uh, and, and what a way to you know sum up his life. I mean, Nine Inch Nails, I, I know they wrote it with everything that they had going on in their own life, but, man, they wrote that for Johnny. That it, was, it was perfect. It was yes, perfect. It was. Yes, it was. I think that's what a great song's about, too, is, you know, they wrote it about their life, but it was his life, too. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Right, so you know, you, you hear that song, and you're like, man, I could have wrote that song. You know, it could be any one song out there, and whenever you have that feeling, man, I could write this. Yeah, that's it what just, I said about Elkhorn City. I said that's everybody that's ever left a small town and went mm-hmm. to a big city and missed home. You know, yeah. and that <clears> song would fit so many people. Oh know? yeah, see that that's what I loved so much about it. I was just sitting there listening to the lyrics, and I was relating so much. See, that's what I love about y'all's music is it's so relatable. You're not just trying to make a hit; you're telling stories, exactly. You know, and right. your or your point of view on things. And it's whenever you can relate to a song like that, it makes it more than just a cool song. It makes it more of an experience almost. It, it touches you, and yeah. that, and that's that's yeah. that's. that's that's what I love. Well, that's what really got me into music was how it touched me and how I related to these artists and the stories that they would tell. And oftentimes, somebody may go through something and have nobody to relate to. 
So whenever right. you hear a song and somebody's singing about that, you finally have that person. And it's a really beautiful thing. Like how y'all That's were talking about point. writing uh, Elkhorn City, and you're like, what did you see? Yeah. That's a great way to go about writing a song. It's, it's so simplistic. 